Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a trick that you probably don't know on how you can quickly determine the quadrant of an angle given in radians. After watching this video, you should be able to answer these types of questions in less than 5 seconds. And you don't even need a calculator, all you need to know is your basic fractions. Can you work out each of these questions in less than 5 seconds? If not, then watch this video to learn how. Starting off with the four quadrants, we have these angles on the axes. The angle 0, pi on 2, pi, 3 pi on 2 and 2 pi, which is commonly taught at your school. But I'm going to rewrite these angles differently. And so on the same axes, these angles can be written as 0, half of pi, 1 pi, 1 and a half of pi and then 2 pi. Now there's two things I want you to take note here. Each quadrant is a half a pi apart and the number part is written in proper fraction form. And so starting with part A, we want the quadrant where 5 pi on 3 lies. And so the first thing we want to do is look at the number part, which is 5 on 3. And we want to rewrite this in proper fraction form. And so 5 on 3 written in proper fraction form is the same as 1 and 2 thirds. And then we write the pi. Then what we need to do is find where 1 and 2 thirds of the pi lies in the quadrant. And so... Looking at the quadrant, if we go 1 pi will be here, and then we want 2 thirds of a pi. 2 thirds of a pi is more than a half, and so we're going to be in this quadrant. And so 5 pi on 3 lies in the fourth quadrant. Part B. Looking at the number part, this is 11 on 12. This is already in proper fraction form, and so we keep it as 11 on 12 pi. Now we know that 11 on 12 is more than a half, because 6 on 12 will equal a half. And so 11 on 12 of pi is going to be more than a half of pi, but less than 1 pi. And so 11 pi on 12 is going to lie in the second quadrant. Part C. Again, looking at the number part, this is 3 on 5. 3 on 5 is already in proper fraction form. And so we write it as 3 on 5 of pi. Now 3 on 5 is more than a half, but less than 1. And so this is going to be more than a half of a pi and less than 1 pi. And so the angle 3 pi on 5 is also in the second quadrant. And part D. Looking at the number part, this is 7 on 4. 7 on 4, if we write it in proper fraction form, is going to be 1 and 3 on 4 of a pi. And so we want to go 1 pi and then 3 quarters of a pi. And we know that 3 quarters of a pi is more than a half. And so we're going to go 1 pi and then we're going to go 3 quarters of a pi, which is going to bring us in the fourth quadrant. And so the angle 7 pi on 4 is going to be in the fourth quadrant. Which brings us to the end of this video. Now if you like this trick, then give it a thumbs up or comment below and let me know. Now make sure that you watch my other videos on how to determine the quadrant for larger angles in radians and also if you have negative angles. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.